Hi, my name's Paul Grogan, and welcome to a tutorial and playthrough of Undaunted Battle of Britain. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to play Undaunted Battle of Britain, and then we're going to be playing through the first scenario that's included in the game. Paul's joining me today. Hello. We've both played the Undaunted game before. Uh, and let me first tell you a little bit about it. This is the fifth box in the Undaunted series of games. It is a standalone game. You don't need to have played any of the previous versions. You don't need to own any of the previous versions. It's a completely standalone game. So if you've never played the Undaunted series before, uh, but you quite fancy the idea of planes flying over Britain, then, then this might be the one for you. It takes place in the summer of 1940, and as the name suggests, it is about the German Luftwaffe trying to take over Britain. And from what I've read about it, Britain is the only thing that stood in the way of Germans <laughs> taking over yeah. Europe. Yes. Um, but I don't know whether that's just because I'm reading British Wikipedia articles that might be slightly biased <laughs> in our favour. Um, we're going to be doing a full tutorial of the game first, and then we're going to be playing through the first scenario. Now, there's a lot of rules included in this game which are not used in the first scenario. For example, uh, barrage balloons, anti-aircraft, grounded aircraft, ships, uh, structures, and all sorts of things like that. I'm not going to cover the rules for them at the start. I'm going to cover what you need to get playing the first scenario and then we'll play the first scenario and then after that I'll tell you about all of the other things that are included in the game. A big thank you to Osprey Games for asking me to create this video. This is a sponsored video, thank you very much to Osprey, but I do rely on the financial support of the Patreon campaign as well to keep the channel going. So if you like the content that I create and you want to support the channel you can do so at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. Patreon supporters get access to some exclusive behind the scenes videos including possibly some additional playthroughs of this if we get chance. Right, okay, so uh, just one thing about the basic scenario. If you watch this playthrough today and you think, oh, the game looks a little bit too simple, just bear in mind that this first scenario that's included in the game does not use all of the rules of the game. They are introduced over the course of the, the different scenarios. And although there are, is it 11 scenarios included in the game? 11 scenarios. Uh, and there is a way you can play them as a campaign where you can track uh, who's won each one. This is not a campaign game. Each scenario is a fixed scenario with a fixed setup. And uh, yeah, as I say, there is a way to play it as a campaign, but there's nothing that carries over from, from one to the other. Right, let's move to this camera. Let's move the box out of the way and let's explain how we get on. So it is a two player scenario based game. As I mentioned, there are 11 scenarios included in the scenario book, each of which has a different map setup. Uh, different units, different special rules and everything else. We're just playing scenario one today, which is First Contact, North France, 23rd of May, 1940. The British Air Forces in France supported the British Expeditionary Force and the bomber operations of the Advanced Air Striking Force. Skirmishes between RAF and Luftwaffe fighters were common. On the 23rd of May, British squadrons surprised German Bf 109s in northern France in a contest that would result in losses for both sides. Now, the design of this game know a bit about history, and each of the scenarios in here is inspired or based on historical events that happened. Uh, obviously, it's not completely accurate, because ultimately you have to have a game out of it. Um, the first thing you do is you set up the board. Now, we've already done this, but you can see, where is it? Scenario one, first contact. So the board is made up of these different map tiles. Each map tile has a letter on it. It's two-sided. It's got water on one side and land on the back. And what you do is you build the map using the tiles that it says here. So you build that at the start. Some of the maps will have overlays, they'll have anti-aircraft units, they'll have barrage balloons, they'll have clouds and things like that. We don't have any overlays on this map. Uh, but then we have our combat tokens. So in this particular scenario, uh, the Germans have Y Squadron and R Squadron, yep. which are the BF 109s. They are. Um, the RAF have three squadrons. We have the Red Squadron and the Yellow Squadron, which are Hurricanes, and the Green Squadron, which are Defiance. Then what we do, after we've set up the map, we set up our cards. So this is a card-driven game. There is a deck-building element to the game. And what we have is, on this table here, it tells us which cards we need for this game, which ones go in our deck, and which ones go in our supply. So for the, um, for the RAF, I have a Squadron Comms, I have a section comms for each of my three sections, and then I have one of each of the combat combat cards for each of the different planes, and then I have two discords. What have you got in your deck? Because we have slightly different okay. decks in this game. So I have uh, squadron comms. Yep. I have a discord. Well, in fact, I've sure. got three, three discords. Three discords, yep. Uh, I've got a section 
comms for R. Uh, should have a section comms for section Y as well. Y. And then I've got and one for each play. One each for each play. Yeah. Okay. So that's your starting deck, and the rest of the cards go in the supply. Now the supply is visible um, to both players, so we can all see what we've got in the supply. And that is pretty much the setup. This here tells us which side starts with initiative, which in this case is the RAF. And we have our objective. So the RAF objective is to neutralize two enemy aircraft. And your objective is to neutralize three enemy aircraft. Three. So once a, an enemy aircraft is neutralized, the game's, the, the rule book says you just put it in front of you to show that it's been neutralized. Right, so how the game plays is, it takes place over a series of rounds. There's, there's an unlimited number of rounds. We might just spend the next three hours flying around and not hitting each <laughs> other. Um, each round is divided into three phases. At the start of each phase is the draw phase where we will draw four cards. You'll shuffle the decks before the start of the game. You draw four cards into your hand. Uh, then we have the initiative phase yep. where we each select secretly one of those four cards from our hand and we play it face down in front of us. We then reveal those cards simultaneously, and the one with the higher number gets the initiative for that turn. If it's tied, it stays with the player who currently has initiative. Right. Then, in initiative order, we each take a turn. So if I won the initiative, I would take my turn first, and then Paul would take his turn. And on your turn, you play the rest of your cards. So the three cards that you didn't, the, the one card that you used for initiative is gone. The three remaining cards, you then play those cards and do things with them then that's your turn over, then the other player takes their turn, that's the end of the round, and then we do the next round. So, let's go through some of these cards uh, in hand, and let me just show you the different types of cards that you get in the game. And the first type of card I'm gonna mention is the Discord card. So I start the game with two of these in my deck, and you've got three of them. Mm -hmm. The Discord cards are really bad cards. You cannot play them except for initiative, and they've only got an initiative value of one. So these represent sort of a breakdown in communications and some of the fog of war. Uh, I mean, in this case, literally fog of war. Fog. Um, <laughs> Clouds. But there is a way that you can get rid of these cards. And that's something that you do want to do if you can, right. because when you draw one of these, that's not normally good. Right, the rest of the cards are divided into two types. If the card is represented by a combat token on the board, in other words, a plane, it is called a combat card and everything that isn't a combat card is known as a communications card. So apart from the Discord cards, there are two types, combat cards and Discord uh, and communication cards. So the combat cards, when you play a combat card, and I have to say, playing a card is optional. So your three cards that you've got remaining in your hand, mm -hmm. normally you play them and you do stuff, but you don't have to. You right. could, because you can't keep one card over from one turn to the next. Right. But at the end of your turn, you can just say, I didn't play this one, and you just put it in your discard pile. Do the planes drop out of the sky? No, 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 no. no. They stay but, where they are. But yeah, you just don't, you, but I, I've not done that. Right. Anyway, the big difference between this and all other Undaunted games is when you play a combat card, and you'll notice that the move is shaded in, you must mm -hmm. perform the move action. You may also then perform one of the other two card actions, and you can do this in either order. So this Hurricane 2, I can move and then maneuver, or I can move and then attack, or I could attack and then move. But I have to move. And when you move, it's up to that amount of spaces. So I could just play it and move one, but you cannot play the card and not move, because as you say, planes mm -hmm. need to keep moving. Um, the maneuver action is slightly different because actually the maneuver action, you need to declare before you do the move, because what it does is it modifies the move. So let's explain the move action first, because we're going to be doing that a lot during the game. So with the move action, uh, and another big thing that's different between this and the other Undaunted games is you have facing. So each of these combat tokens has a pointy bit, which represents which way the plane is facing. Yep. And if you move one, you simply move one forward. If you move two, you move two forward, but you always move in the direction that it's pointing. Now, going back to the maneuver action, as I mentioned earlier on, if you want to do the maneuver action, you have to declare that before you move. And what it allows you to do is that number of times, mm -hmm. which for me is two, during the movement, you may rotate one hex side after you've moved, not before. Right. So for example, this, uh, let, let me just get the right thing. So the defiant one, this is the card relating to this counter here. If it's got maneuver one and move two, so if I declared that I'm moving with the maneuver one, it means I can move one 
and then rotate, and then I don't have to move the other one. I could, but I can't turn again. I can only turn, I can only maneuver once yep. during that movement after you've moved. After move. If, though, that was the hurricane, let's say I've got the R1 here, this is move to, maneuver to, so I could move, maneuver, move, maneuver. Right. I could do that. But only two actions, you couldn't attack. Oh, Correct. Right. So yeah, that's the thing. Uh, the move isn't the must. You must always do that. But then the card action, you do one or the other. Okay. So that is or neither. Or neither. You don't. Yeah. You don't. You don't have okay. to. You okay. don't. You don't have to do. Uh, you yeah. don't have to do either of those. The only thing you must do is the, move. is the movement. So we've covered movement. Now there is a rule that happens. That's uh, if you were to move off the board, mm -hmm. you can't move off the board. But if you were to move off the board, what happens is you rotate one and you take a discord card to your discard part. So try and avoid that if you can help yeah. it. Um, but that's what happens if you move off the board. Turn around before you get to the edge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, now let's talk about attacking because that's the other thing that we're going to be doing a lot of. You will see that this card has an attack of two or three. Mm -hmm. That's three if you're attacking them from behind. So facing is very important in this game and we'll, we'll cover that in more detail. Now, if we just have a look at the tokens, you will see that in addition to the, the point of it, which is where it's facing, there is also this dashed line. Mm -hmm. And on the hurricanes, and in fact on most of the planes, the dashed line is also pointing to the point of it. That is the way in which the guns can fire. So that this, this hurricane here can only fire forwards. However, if we have a look at this Defiant, now the Defiant didn't have any forward-facing guns. What it did have is it had a turret and it could fire in all of the directions. If you look carefully, there is dashed lines pointing in all five of the other directions on this. So, big difference between this and the other Undaunting games is that units can only ever fire in straight lines. Yes. And for everything in this game, other than these two, only directly ahead of them in the direction that they're facing. Now, the way that combat works is, if we just go back to the unit again, you will notice that the unit has a defense value which is the number printed in the shield. So the Defiants are four. Uh, my Hurricanes are five. I've got five. Yours are five. Yep. Uh, that is the target number that you're trying to get on a dice. However, you add to that, you add the range. So you count how far away it is in hexes. Mm. Uh, and you also add the cover modifier. Now the cover modifier is one for each other plane, not counting the attacker and not counting the defender. Yep which is in between those two planes. But it could be in, in the, the attacker's head and the defender's head. Because right. what I didn't mention in movement is that you can have multiple fighters in a hex. Okay. Um, now, for example, if I have these two here together, which I had in my test game this morning, you might think, well, that's great. However, if I'm attacking that one there... That's a disadvantage. Yeah. Too. Right. Because it's every single other plane, friend or foe, between the two planes, including other other planes in that hex and other planes in that hex. So in fact, if you had those two there, one of these attacking the other one would be at a plus two cover modifier. Yeah. Because there's two other planes. Does it so it doesn't matter whether it's friend or foe nope. in, in line. Okay. Uh if we were playing with clouds, that would add cover bonuses as well. Right. And then what you do is you work out what the target number is. So it's the base defense value plus the range plus the cover modifier. Mm. And then you roll either two or three dice because that's what it said on the card. Two or three dice. Two dice if the attack is coming from the front. Three dice if the attack is coming from the rear. And you're trying to get that target number. So what you do is you roll that number of dice. D10s. Uh, D10s. You're trying to roll that number. It doesn't matter how many times you roll that number. So, for example, if I'm trying to roll a six and I roll a six, eight, and a nine, that's oh. not three hits, it's one hit. Right. So you only ever score one hit, no matter how many dice you're rolling. The more dice you roll means... And that's not 24. That's not 24. Right. No, you you have okay. three, three numbers separately. Okay. Uh, and you're trying to get at least one of them yeah. as a target number. If you do, you've scored a hit. Okay. When you score a hit, the other player must remove a card of the type matching the token that's been hit. Mm -hmm. So first of all, they check their hand. So if they haven't had their turn yet, they mm -hmm. will have three cards in hand. If they have a card matching uh, the, the, the damaged plane, they must remove that from the game. So it's gone. 
Not discarded, gone right. from the game. Okay. If they don't have one in their hand, they check their discard pile. If they don't have one in their discard pile, they check their deck. Mm -hmm. And if they do check their deck, they shuffle the deck afterwards. Right. If there isn't one in the hand, discard pile or deck, the unit is neutralized. And at that point, we remove it and any other cards that were still in the supply from the game. So it can no longer recruit those. And no, the, the plane has been shot down and it's gone. Right. And that's what the objective of this scenario is. You've got to neutralize two, tell you three. Three. I've got to neutralize two. two. And uh, just to clarify. Yep. So rear is yes. not just behind me or? What I'll do is I'll press this button here. Let's just have a look. So if that's there and that was there, that's obviously, that's the rear. Yep. Okay. But the rules are that if it's either directly behind it, like that, or if this was to be, if, if this was facing this way, mm -hmm. that's still the rear. Right. Because the rules, the way it's written are, if you were to rotate this one hex side that way, would it still be to the rear? Yes. So basically there is the rear, yep. there is the rear, there is the rear. So basically the three hexes behind The three hexes you behind it. Are behind the three hexes in front of you. Absolutely. Yeah, great. Is essentially it. Yeah. So that's how you determine whether it's okay. um, whether it's from the rear. Right. That's attacking. Any mm. questions about attacking? Now that's the main that's thing good. we're going to be doing in the game. Now let's switch and start talking about comms cards. So communications cards are anything that doesn't relate to a token on the board. Uh, and we have section comms for each of the three, and we have a squadron comms as well. Uh, other scenarios, you will have ship cards, you will have anti-aircraft cards, you'll have all sorts of other cards in the game. But if it isn't related to a token on the board, then it's a communications card. Now, the first rule about communication cards is when you play one, you can either do one of the actions it says on the cards, or you can go dark. Go dark means put the card from your hand back in your supply. It removes that card from your deck. So if you are at a stage in the game where you think, actually, I don't really want this card in my deck anymore, okay. you can go dark with the card and you can remove it and put it down in the deck. There's no way of getting the card back. Bolstering. But Bolstering will allow you to get cards back if you want to. But this only bolsters the Yeah, but the squadron section. comms will bolster from anything. We'll come on to ah, bolster in a minute. Got, yeah. uh, the other versions yeah. of Undaunted had a similar card ability, which was hunker down, which was for actual soldiers. This one, you can't actually hunker down planes because they're flying around in the sky. <laughs> so it doesn't work. Right. Let's cover the squadron comms card first. So first ability that I wanted to explain is bolster, and this is bolster three. So what bolster means is that you can take that number of cards from your supply and you put them in your discard pile. And that's how you get additional cards right. in the game is with the bolster action. And bolster three means that I can take any of these three cards, put them in my discard pile. You don't bolster the discard, the discord cards. You don't want them, they're, bad, they're bad cards. So you definitely don't want to take those. Yeah. The next one to explain is command two. This is really simple. Draw that many cards from your deck and you will then play those cards this turn. Okay. Because they go straight Indeed. into your hand. Right. Uh, coordinate is the one that I will explain next. Coordinate is how you get rid of these pesky discord cards. <laughs> so when you play the coordinate action, and you can only do this action if you have a discord card in hand, right. what you do is you remove the discord card from the game. So it's gone. You've completely cleared it, and you get to draw a card as a replacement. Next ability to explain is guide. Guide, actually, and, and this is guide any, so you pick any one combat counter on the board and you move it one hex forward and then you may rotate it one hex left or right. Right. So it allows you to do a short little movement with and a, one of and the, a maneuver. So and it's a, and a so maneuver. It's a move maneuver. It's a move one maneuver one. Right. Yeah, effectively. Okay. Now that's the squadron comms card and those can be done on any of your cards. If we now look at the section comms cards, all of my three are absolutely identical, but for the sections that they're in. So this is bolster two, but only with cards from the green squadron. This is guide, but only with a plane from the green squadron. Um, coordinate will allow you to do a, a discord card from hand and inspire will explain inspire. So what inspire does is it allows you to basically uh, perform the move and card action of any card already in play. It allows one of your combat cards to have another go. 
Okay. So what you do is you play this card, for example, and you say, right, I'm going to move and then I'm going to attack. And then you play section comms and you inspire it. And because it matches the squadron, you keep the card in play, but you then get to do it again. So that's what inspire does. Now, yeah. Icons. The really important thing about these communication cards is three of these actions have that icon on. And in fact, if you were to play this card as initiative, it also has that icon in the top left. Now, to explain what this icon means, we need to talk about being in comms and out of comms. So one of the important parts of this game is that you need to keep your planes within a squadron near each other so that mm -hmm. they are in regular contact with each other. And if a section is in comms, it means that the two planes are no more than two hexes away. If it's like that, they're in comms. If it's like that, they are out of comms. Yeah. And the reason why that is important is for these cards. If you play a card and use, like if you play it for initiative and there's that symbol, or you play one of these three and it's out of comms, you can still do it, but you take a discord card to your discard pile. Bad. Bad. Okay. The coordinate action has got a different icon. Mm. That icon there means you cannot play this card action if the unit if the if the squadron is out of comms. Okay. So that's okay. just that's just not allowed completely. But there are times so you you want to try and keep the squadron together if you can. Sometimes you won't be able to, but if you can't, these actions become uh, a little bit harder to use. So that's what that icon is here. If one of those planes is neutralized, that section is now out of comms because what? he's going, Fred, it's on its own. <laughs> uh, Fred, Fred, can you hear me? Fred, Fred, are you, are you there, yes. Fred? So right. yeah, okay. once, once one of the planes has been neutralized, the section is, out of comms. Uh, the, the squadron is out of comms. Any questions about those? We've covered inspire, we've covered coordinate, we've covered command, we've covered bolstering, we've covered guide, and we've covered going dark. Yeah. Now, there's just right. one slight correction that I did want to make on when we talked about attacking. Mm -hmm. uh, if two um, planes are in the same hex, it's always considered a frontal attack. Okay. So, so even if they look one, like that, on the even board. if they look like that on the board, they're not. Okay. If two planes are in the same you hex, you don't get the advantage. You don't get the advantage of attacking okay. from behind. So, right. in order to get the attacking from the rear bonus, you, you need away. to be in a different in a different mm. hex. Right then. Okay. Now we've both played games in the Undaunted series before. Yes. Um, but this one is new to us, and the fact that there is um, forced movement and restricted fire arcs <laughs> takes this game to a, a, a new level. I can level. see that we can follow one another. Around, we may be the, here for a few hours. Around the skies, dog fighting. Yeah. Right, one, two, three, four. So we both draw four cards, and now we must secretly choose one of these cards to be our initiative card. Okay, chosen. Chosen. I'm playing four, one. you're playing one. So I've got the initiative. That card goes in the discard pile uh, and I, I've got the initiative. So I now take my turn mm -hmm. and I'm gonna play my cards one after another. The first thing I'm gonna play is, I'm gonna play the Y section comms card and I'm gonna bolster two cards from the Y squadron. Uh, put these cards in the wrong place. There we go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bolster one of each. So okay. those go to my discard card. So that's the bolster action done. That's that card played. Importantly, that card does not go to my discard pile yet. This is in my played area. Mm -hmm. um, because fundamental, I, I, I didn't mention this. I kind of uh, skipped past it. It's a deck building game. What that means is any time you need to draw cards from your deck, if your deck is empty, you shuffle your discard pile, you make a new deck, and you do it again. And I just want to double check that that happens only when you need to draw a card from your deck. Okay. I think it does. Um, so drawing a card, never shuffle your cards in your play area into deck. Yeah, whenever you need to draw a card and your deck is empty. Okay. The other thing that I did mean to point out, and apologies for missing this, in the other Undaunted games, a 10 is always a hit. Not in this game. Because once you calculate the range and the cover bonuses and everything else, if the final result is more than a 10, you can't hit. Uh, okay. Whereas in the in the other game, yeah. a 10 was always, always a hit, going no to matter hit. what. Yeah, okay. Apologies for missing those two things. Right, next. I am going to play a combat card. I'm going to play Hurricane 1. 
which is here. Um, and I am going to choose maneuver. So it's move two with maneuver two. So I'm going to go one, two, and then I'm going to maneuver there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to play section comms for the red section. Now they are still in comms. Yes, okay. So I'm not going to get any penalties for doing it. And I'm going to bolster and I'm going to take one of each again. Now that's the end of my turn. I then take my cards, I put them to the discard pile, and now it's Paul's turn. Okay. So I'm going to play Squadron. Squadron comms. I'm going to bolster three. So any three cards. So I'm going to bolster red two. Discard. Uh, uh, yeah, that goes straight into your discard, discard pile. Yep. I'm going to have uh, a yellow one and a yellow two. Okay. That's good. Then I'm going to play um, red one move with maneuver. Um, so your your planes move faster than mine. So it's move three. Yeah. With maneuver two. two maneuver. Now remember, you the maneuver you cannot maneuver before you've moved at least one. No. The later scenarios have ace pilots, right? And ace pilots can do that. Okay. Ace pilots can can turn before first, before right. they do their first okay. move. So I have to go. So I'm going to R one. Yep. So he has to move. But remember, three. it's move up to three. Yep. So one. could just be move one, and a maneuver. Yep. So I could go here. You could. So that's second move, and you that's can maneuver again if you want to after that second move. So that's a maneuver. Uh, I have to m move again if I want to maneuver again. Yep. Uh, so I'd have to move here. It takes me out of comms. Mm. Well, you've got a maneuver now if uh, you want to. So you moved one yeah. and maneuvered. Yeah. You've moved one again, so you can maneuver again. I can again. maneuver again. So I, yep. can, I can go here like this yep. and stay in comms, uh, which I'm going to do. I think and you I'll don't, you don't have to do the third move if you don't want to. No, because that'll take me out of comms. It also gives you more, um, easier attack. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. just a clarification on the maneuver. If you had maneuver five, mm -hmm. you can only ever turn one hex side after each hex that you've moved forward. So you can't move one forward and then turn three. Right. It's move one, turn maneuver, one, move, move one, turn maneuver. one, move one, turn yeah. one, so up move, to turn, a maximum move, of your maneuver. Yeah, okay. And the last card I can't do anything with. Is a discard card. Right, so you discard those, pop them in there. End of the first round, next yep. round, we draw cards. So because you only have 10 cards in your deck, yep. and I've got 12, I'll refresh it mine. means you're going to be cycling through yours yep. a bit quicker, get, I should get some of my bit quicker than I am. Right, so. And it's an initiative tie, it stays with you Correct. at the moment. Correct, yep. yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, Hmm. And the in comms yes. is only for the section. There's no Correct. communication between Correct. these two sections. Yeah, they don't like each other. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, in comms is only for the section comms cards. I bid one. Yeah, put it right. Okay. So initiative stays with me. Uh, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play Defined 2, which is here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to, he's got maneuver one, so I'm going to move two, maneuver one. Okay. That's that done. Uh, then we're going to play Y1, which is this one here. Move two, maneuver two. So we're going to go one, turn, two, and that'll do. And then I've got Y2 that's going to follow him up. Come back. Uh, in fact, we'll turn that one. So I've moved, turned, moved, turned. Okay. That's it for me. Kind of didn't want to go first then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do um, Y1. Yep. Um, which is move three and maneuver two. So I'm yeah. going to use... You are going to maneuver. Um, I am just going to look to see how far I can get. So I can do three. Mm. One, two, three. Um, that's facing, you know, you change the facing there. Yeah. Uh, this is also in front, so that's not to the rear either, so there's no advantage. It will take me out of comms, unless I move this guy. Um, 
but we only we only have a problem uh, out of comms if we're playing an action that has the comms Correct. signal. Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. You, so, you, the, the, the plane yeah. can go around yeah. and do whatever yeah. it wants on its okay. own. I no think, problem. I think, well, I think we'll do this. So let's just see how this goes. One, two, three, and maneuver. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to play Y2. Yeah. I'm going to do something very similar, um, which is one, two, three, and maneuver. Okay. Okay. Yep. And then I'm going to do section comms for R. And they are in comms. They are in comms. So what do you want to do? Um, Bolster. You can't inspire. No. Because that copy is... Because I, don't have, yeah, I yep. don't have one of those. You could guide. I could guide. And I could bring this up, yep. basically. Yep. Or you could um, bolster two from the... From the Reds. Red Squadron. Yep. I think I'm going to try and get into the fight first. So I'm just going to guide. I'm going to do one here. And, and it I'm can turn if it wants to. That way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Right. So you draw your remaining, they go to your discard pile. You draw your remaining two cards. You need to draw two more. So you shuffle your deck. Yeah. Draw those two. I just draw my remaining four cards. Hopefully we get some reinforcements. Right. Right. So. Well then. Now then, <laughs> yeah, yes. How do we get behind these guys? Um, yeah, that's, hmm. inter that's interesting, isn't it? Um, just to take the initiative might be interesting. Um, you've already played that good, so I can't influence you anymore. <laughs> well, I know that you've been putting more yellow squadron cards into your deck, and you've yeah. now shuffled and drawn them. So for all I know, you have enough to do yellow this. squadron cards in hand. Yeah. Whereas I haven't shuffled my deck yet, so yeah. if you were card counting, you would know exactly which four cards yes, I have in yes, my hand. I can't, I can't, I can't be doing that just now. Okay, I think. What well, I in fact, do... you don't need to card count. I had one of each plane in the deck. Yeah. I have moved both of the yellow planes, so I, I don't have either of those two in hand. That's the one I've got in hand, and that one. Be yes. Because they, okay. because they haven't moved those yet. Ones you haven't so you yet. can work it out. Yeah. Only for this. After, you, you after credit, this. You credit me with a bit more abilities. After right this, there. you can't. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there we go. Right. There we go. Six. Four. Sorry, eight. I can't Four. read. And your section comms? Well, that's the thing. It's eight with that symbol. You are so, okay. So, thankfully, the green squadron is within comms. Yeah. Which means I don't get a penalty. Right. And I am going first. So, that's discarded. Right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use squadron comms to coordinate. Which is to remove. So I take a discord card from my hand and remove it from the game. That's completely gone. That is out of the game. Nice. And then I draw a card. I, my deck is empty. Okay. Yep. So I give these a shuffle. And I'm not playing with sleeved cards today because uh, the overhead cameras don't like sleeved cards. Um, but I will be sleeving these cards as soon as I can after this place <laughs> <All the> shuffling. <laughs> because of the shuffling. They are quite good quality cards though, so um, yeah. yeah. Right. And nice. you, get to play, you can play that now, can't you? I can play that now. Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, I'm going to play Hurricane 1 and we're going to have an attack. Oof. So, I'm choosing the attack action, but I have to move. Yeah. But I could attack and then move, or move and then attack. Okay. Yeah, All you right. can do it in either okay. order. And I'm going yeah. to move first, because it's this one. Yeah. So I'll go one, two, and I'll close the range. Yes. And now I'm going to have an attack. Okay. So I'm attacking from the front. Yes. And I'm rolling two dice. Now, the base defense, defense. value is five. Five. The range is one, and there is no cover modifier. So right. I need a six. And I have a nine. Oh. So, first of all, do you have an R1 card in hand? No. Oh, well, I wanted you to. I know you did. Because then that... Right, no, do you I'm have one in your discard pile? Um, I don't have... I do have you one in my discard. So that's gone. That's, that's gone. out of the game. So out of the game. There you go. Daka, daka, daka. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I've, then got, I've then got Hurricane 2 that says... Oh, we're now out of comms, so we, we, need to, we need to catch up. So he's going to move two with manoeuvre two. We're going to go one turn. Yeah. Two. 
And <laughs> turn. Okay. Yep. That's me done. And that's still front. Yep. Okay, in that case, I'm going to change slightly what I was going to do uh, because I need to get some planes. So I'm going to play squadron comms. comms for bolster. So any three cards. Three. It's going to be one, two, and yeah, three. Okay, they're going to your discard pile. Then we have a... I must remember that you don't have to move the full amount. You can just right. move. Yeah. Okay. You can move like You have to move at least one. But you don't well, have to move the I, full amount. Do I want a thick deck? Or do I want to... I can't capitalize... Unfortunately, I can't capitalize on this situation. Right. It's sad. Um, uh, so what I can do, I can either... Because you, Yeah, you could have commanded two. To draw, to two, draw cards. two cards. Oh, yes. Yes. To get given more me, chance of getting the yellow squadron. Yeah, that would have given me more options. Okay, so um, hmm. guide and maneuver. If I go there, if I go movement and I go there, mm -hmm. that, that is, would be a rear attack on this one. That would be a rear attack on there, but I can't play the attack this turn. Nope. And I still want to stay behind him, really. It's not great to get right up in their face behind because you've got to move first before you attack. No, nope. you can attack and then move. You, you can do the card action before you do the movement. Okay. You can do them in uh, either okay. order. Right, okay. There, if I wanted to, I could have attacked and then moved two, then but that would have been silly. Because it right, would have been because next time, when you I, could attack when I first attack, I could attack before you move. move. Yeah. But so long as you do move afterwards, that's yeah. fine. Okay. In that case, I'm going to uh, section comms. Section comms. We're they in, are. We are in. They are comms. in comms. I'm going to move uh, Y2. So you're going to guide. I'm going to guide him forward. Yeah. And then one maneuver. Okay. And then R2 is going to Which is do this one. Yeah. We've just seen his mate getting shot at. Yeah. It's a shame you can't do maneuver and attack, isn't it? Um, it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, can I get in around the back? Is the real question. So I'm going to do move. Uh, and manoeuvre. So it's move three so with manoeuvre two. One, manoeuvre. Yeah. Two, no manoeuvre. Okay. Three, manoeuvre. Uh, that was that was two. Ah, oh, okay. You can go there. You can't go. You can't do yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Got you. Yeah. Because I was going. Yeah. That's fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. I was going forwards. Yeah. yeah absolutely right. All yeah. done. Yeah. Done. Right. Discard. Next round. Okay. Right. Eight. Eight. I thought you might. Oh. And I knew your nine had gone. Oh. So I retain the initiative. Oh, that hurts. Which is good because we have R1. He's at it again. No! And just to demonstrate, you can attack and then move. Attack. You're going to do it first. Well, I could. But you could maneuver. Or I could move one. And then I'd only need five to hit. So that's what I'm going to but do. But isn't this, isn't this a, a, a plus one because you're in the same... No, it doesn't count the attacker or the defender. Right. Okay. The cover modifiers don't include the yeah. attacker or the okay. defender. Okay. So I am going to move first and I'm going to move one. Now, do I want to manoeuvre? Yes, I do. We're going to manoeuvre that way. You need to follow me around. Yep. Um, but then I'm going to attack. So this time it's five. Because the defence yep. value is five. There is no range modifier. There's no cover modifier. Because, yeah, it's only other planes other than the attack of the defender. Yep. So two dice. Need a five. Got a nine ten. and a ten. Ah. So you have Weighted to remove an R1, R1 from your hand. From my hand. I can't do it from my hand. Have you got one in your discard pile? I do have one in my discard Out pile. Out the game. This is bad news. That plane's getting shot at quite it a is. bit. I need to right. get rid of these. Now, we then have R2. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. I can't. No, because it's... Because there's, not, there's nothing. So I can't, I can't attack right now. I'd need a guide yeah. first yeah. to be able to do it. Yeah. And in fact, yeah. 
So we're just going to move with maneuver. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I'm just going to move two and go there. <laughs> it really does simulate yeah. planes dogfighting. Finally, we've got Y1, Hurricane uh, 1, who's all the way over don't here. Don't want him to move. So he's going to move with maneuver. Yeah. I'm going to go one and turn. Now I'm still in comms if I, if I stay there. And I am going to stay there. I'm not going to use the second okay. movement point. Okay. Because you would stretch out comms. Yeah. So that's me done. Ah. So just a clarification, a uh, slight undo here. I, I did cheat. So if you remember what I said earlier on, when you play a card, you must do the move action and you then may do one of these two card actions. You cannot do both of them. And what I did is I cheated. I did both of them. So what I did is I moved did a maneuver and then did an attack. And you're not allowed to do that. So just to rewind, what I would have done instead is I would have just moved, not maneuvered, and then done the attack. So the results are still exactly the same. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, you're I facing just- facing this way. I'm yeah. facing that way. Yeah. So that's that fixed. Okay. So uh, let's uh, think about what we're going to do. Now, just to clarify, yeah. uh, if my plane is in, in the way, is that Correct. providing me Yes. So uh, if either providing of, you cover. Yeah. If either of these two yeah. shoot at the other one, mm. there is one plane in the way. It doesn't matter whether that's yeah. friend or foe. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to play Y2 to mm -hmm. move. So it's move three with maneuver yeah, two. That's what move. I'm going to do. I'm going to do attack. Uh, oh, I'm going to do maneuver. I'm going to do move and maneuver. Yeah. Sorry. Move. And I'm going to maneuver. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to stop at that point. You're not going to do another one. Okay. Okay, I am then going to play... You're currently out of comms, should that matter. Yeah, okay. I'm then going to do a Y2, which is... That's the same one. Yeah. Yeah, which is an attack. First. Right. Yeah, so behind. Right, so you could have moved one. But that would have... But it would have meant it would have been a front attack. So you're, you're doing yeah. the attack from here. Yes. So it is... Five plus one for the range. You need a six. You need a six. But you're rolling three dice. I'm rolling three. So three dice needing a six is probably better odds than two dice needing a five. Oh, except I didn't get it. That I didn't get it. Yeah. Well, two fives and a two. I need to uh, realign right. my guns. And then you must. No, I must move. move at least one. Okay. So I'll move here. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I'll move. I'll move here. And, and nothing uh, else. And I can do a manoeuvre, is that right? You can, yeah. Uh, no, because you attacked. I did, I used attack. You first. use the attack, I, I so did. you either move okay. one, two, or three okay. straight ahead. Yeah. I don't want to cheat as well, then. No. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. Uh, and then Y1, Frederick comes along. Yeah. And he's going to do a move and attack. So he's going to do a move one and a move two. Yeah. Uh, we're now back in And comms. a three or not? Uh, well, a, th a three makes it... Five. Five with... A front oh, attack it is actually, five. Oh, yeah, it is a front attack with yeah. five, because it's two dice anyway, isn't it? Yeah. So that's front attack needing yeah. a five. Okay, here we go. Okay. Come on. Come on, Frederick. Just roll the same as you did last the time. The cannons. Uh, ah. Double five. So, nice. Y2. y2. I have no Y2 cards in hand. I have none in my discard pile. Whoa. So what we do is we go through the deck, we take out a Y2, yes. remove it from the game. Well done, Frederick. And then I shuffle my deck. Well done, Frederick. So that stopped that one doing anything. Right, are we done? Yeah. End of the round. Next round. Okay. Uh, right. Okay, so what have we got? All of mine are in comms at the moment. It's getting busy here, isn't it? Oh, yeah. We're on top of Let's one another. separate them a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to fly past one another. Yeah, I know. Okay. I know. This is, this is uh, going to be... It's going to be bad. Four. One. It's going to be bad. Okay, 
so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play green section comms. They are in comms. Yes. So it's all okay. I'm doing the coordinate to remove that discord card from oh, the game. Second one gone. Draw a replacement. Yeah. Right. I'm then going to do Y1, so Hurricane 1, which is over here. Yep. And we will attack and then move. Okay. Because uh, if I moved first, yep. I wouldn't then be able to attack. Yep. So we're attacking. It's two dice. Five. I need a five. Yeah. Yeah, see, they're loaded. They're, they are loaded. Are they the same dice as I had? Yeah, are same, they the same, same two dice? Same dice. Right, okay. I can switch them out. <laughs> yeah. So I've hit Y2. So do you have a Y2 I card have... in hand? I don't have a Y2 in do hand. Do you have a Y2 in your discard pile? I do have a Y2 in my discard. That's gone. He's gone. And then I must move straight ahead because I attacked. Yep. And I can go one or two. I'm actually just going to go one. Yeah, because you'd be out of range. In fact, you're well, out no, of range. Well, no, I'm out of comms range, range anyway. Range. Yeah, you are. But I figured that... I might follow you around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And then section comms for red. Yeah. Now, what do I want to do? They, they are in comms. You could... You I could do could all guide. sorts here. You could guide. Oh, I don't like this. I'm going to bolster. I'm going to bolster too. Okay. That's me done. You'll go. Right. Um, right. So Y1, which is which here, is here is going to attack. Yep. Um, hit the head. So it's two need, dice. You need fives. Are you sure these are the two dice? Those, those are the same two dice. Okay. <laughs> but the only roll nine's for me. There you go. Oh, there you so go. you've hit. Nine. So you've hit Y two. Y two. So again, I have none in hand. Okay. There is a Y two there. It's gone. Okay. And then um, Victor Doring in his BF one hundred nine E, which is R two, is going to. Which is here. Yeah, he's going to uh, stay in comms, really. So, uh, yeah. I, um, can I move black? I can't fly back. No, no, play, no, the planes can't go backwards. backwards. No. I just turned the propeller around. <laughs> so, okay. So, I'm going to, I'm going to move and maneuver. So, um, I'm going to go uh, one and maneuver one. Yeah. I'm going to move two. I have my second man second maneuver, maneuver, which is there. Yeah. Um, I can't maneuver a second time. Um, you, you, yeah, you can't. I, can't, I could so you, move. You've used both of yep. your maneuvers. Yeah. I, but you've got one more movement point if you want it. Yeah. Um, do I want? To? I don't think I will. So I'll stay there. And unfortunately, that is discord. Right. End of the round. End of round. I draw my two cards, and then I've got a fairly big deck now. Yeah. Although I have got rid of my. But I can't get rid of. Yeah, I need to. Pull the, the discords when I've got the yes when I've got the coordinate action, which is only the section cards. Yes, the comms cards. Okay. Right. Three. Yes. So yes. you've got the initiative. Yes. Okay, off you go. Okay. Do your worst. It's the <laughs> yeah. first time I think you've got be my, It will be my worst. Because uh, we know. But this is Frederick. So Frederick's having a second go. Why one? Attacking. There. Yeah, that's me. Right. Uh, Did he attack a minute ago? Yeah, and, and I got one. I got you. Did one we finger. forget to move? Oh, I think we did. Oh, um, yeah. Why? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Apologies. Right. We yeah, we will we will fix right. that now. It so, did attack last turn. Yeah, and I move. So it moved. Okay. Ah. Yes. Okay. That changes me somewhat because I'm now right at the edge. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got to turn, haven't I? So I've got to move anyway. So I've do. I'm going to do move maneuver. Yeah. So uh, I move one here. 
Yeah. Okay, then I'll maneuver. Did you say it's just one way? I can't I can't go this way. Oh yeah, I can go this way. So I... your, your two choices here are, okay. yep. you can maneuver here. And it goes at right angles, does it? Which means you can then carry on moving and eventually you'll go right. around. Or if you really wanted to, you could maneuver that way. Oh, I see. I could go. Now, but if you but did then that, gonna... then when you were to move off the board, yes. you wouldn't move off the board. You'd turn there instead and you'd take a discord card. Ooh, okay. I'll go, the long so, way, I'll go the long way around. It, it is a choice that yeah, you have to okay. make. I will go the long way around. So I will do the move. I'll do a maneuver. So you've moved one um, and maneuvered one. Uh, I can do a move two. Yep. Yeah, with the maneuver. Maneuver. Now you don't there. want to use the third move. I don't because that'll put me right. Because that'll put you the there, facing yeah. this way. Yeah. Because you're not an ace pilot, yeah. you can't maneuver yeah. before. I'm going to become, right. okay. going to, going to become ace. I'm going to become ace. Okay, and then I'm going to use my. Yeah. Also, if you did maneuver to go off the board. Yeah. Then, uh, when you would go off the board and you turn left instead, your turn is over. So if you did have any more movement points left, oh, lost the, they would, would be lost. Okay. Okay, I'm going. To, I'm in comms with my red section, so your red squadron is in within comms. In comms yes. So I'm going to play a, a coordinate. Yep. In comms go. to get rid of get rid of that one and then draw a replacement card. And I draw. Oh, I should have done that first. Should have done that first. Done that yeah. First. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely right. Okay. What you got? And that would have been quite nice to do that actually. Um, but I might be able to inspire. I might be able to Which do means some inspiring. This one will act again. Yeah. Um, Just brings him back in, or do I want to bolster? Do I want to? Do I want to? I want to bolster. Okay, so I'm going to use section comms to yep. bolster. Bolster your two. remaining two cards. So yep. that's it. So that's my. Your deck is complete. My deck is there. You discard all of those. Yep. Right. <clears throat> so I've got choices. <laughs> Lots of choices, <laughs> mm. but actually not many. Do you have Red Hurricane One? So we're going to go for a little bit of a long shot, literally and figuratively. <laughs> well, no, because these, these can't fire forward. Oh, so they can't, no, but he can fire backwards. That's very clever. That's very clever. And this guy hasn't even decided to move yet. Nope. He's, he's still nope. just flying he's, around in circles. He's, 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 he's the making, same, he's, same he's, one there. He's got the kettle on. <laughs> yeah. He's making a cup of tea. I think he's drinking it. Um, I'm trying <laughs> to see if there's anything <laughs> clever that I can do with these. Okay. Don't do anything clever. We're going to play green section comms and we're going to guide. Right. And we're going to guide this one, yeah. since he can't fly on his own. Thing. Yes. One. One. And, and do not no manoeuvre? No, because now... Do you not have to do the manoeuvre and a guide? No. Okay. He's, he's, he's moved one and you then may turn. Now, so now we're going to play G1 and we're going to attack. I said it was a long shot. Well, I should have actually worked this You're out. Going to attack. So it's five, six, seven, oh, eight, nine, I'm looking at the right. plus yes. one. So I'm one oh, dice one and dice. I need a ten. Yeah. I, I said it, I said yeah, it was yeah, a long yeah, shot. Yeah, the way you're rolling. So the base defense is five. five. It is a range of one, two, three, four. So that's nine. There is one oh, plane so in the way. The way. So, so I need a ten. Okay. And these Defiants are not very good. They've only got attack of one or, oh, but two it's if it's from the rear. It is behind. Yep. It is from it is behind, from rear, yeah. so I get two dice needing a 10. Yeah. Not combined. I have a 19% chance of success. Oh, look at that. Oh, eight and nine. Eight and a nine. Yeah. Close. Pretty Close. sure you rolled that before. Yeah. Um, so that's the attack, which means I must move. Because I haven't moved yet. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which means I can't maneuver. So we're going to go one, two. Right, you're going to come and join this fight. Then, Defiant 2 is going to attack. I just realised. Yeah? yeah? So it's actually the same. Well, no, it's one less. One less. Two less. Five, six, six seven, seven eight. eight. Two dice, because it's from the rear. Yes. Yeah, two dice. It is. So yeah, these yeah. can fire. So two dice, needing an eight. Well, there's ten. a hit. There's a ten. So I've hit R2. Okay, don't have it in hand. <laughs> oh, this I'd is forgot, bad. I'd forgotten about this, this is one bad. completely. Yeah, I, yeah. Okay, so I don't have it in hand. Discard pile. 
So it's not in hand. Sorry, not in hand. It's not, not in discard. discard. I've so you check the discard. Deck. So I go in my deck. And then this one has to move. On R2. And I am going to move it. Oh, my deck's thin now. One. Am I going to move it a second one? No. I'm going to leave it there because that one's going to be coming in. Yeah. So I'm going to leave that one there. Yeah. Okay. And that's in the line of fire, isn't it? Thinking about it. Yeah. That that there is dangerous. Yeah. For this guy. I mean, these are a bit rubbish. These defiance. Well, he's done all right. Well, so far. only because I got in from behind. Right. One, two, three, four. Four. Come on. Let's do some stuff. Uh, right. Uh, well, you've got initiative. I've got initiative. That's good news for me. Uh, so I'm definitely going to do that. What have you played? Yeah. What have you played? Oh, if only you knew. Oh dear. And it's a one. Five. Right. Okay. So. Your R2's in line. Yeah, but that's my own. Your G. <laughs> no, this one. Oh, it's your. It's mine. mine. It is yours. Yeah, I'm it doing the same mine. thing now. Doing the same I'm thing. looking at this firing at that one and then that one firing back. So, yeah, that's right. And this is yeah. five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. yeah so so that, yeah, that one could yeah. shoot that one, but it's it a, a ten. ten. Yeah. Okay. Oh, but if I do that, then that doesn't work. Oh, this this in comms is really clever. You've broken comms. I have broken comms between the yellow squadron. Yeah, me too. I'm but I think one out of range. I think I might, I might have to do this. I'm going to do it. Right. This guy. Yaroslav Bezek, Polish pilot, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Um, so he's uh, he's had too many cups of tea this morning, and he's uh, he's going off on a on a charge. So I'm going to move with maneuver, and I'm going to move two. Yeah, but not maneuver. So I'm just going to move two. He's going to try and come for me. All right. Yeah. Then I'm going to play him again. Yes. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And this time, I am forwards. gonna move with maneuver, and I'm yeah. gonna go one, yeah. turn two. Yeah. And then... No, come on, you don't have three R2s. I play section comms to inspire. To inspire. But to. because the red squadron is now out, okay, of, comms, out of comms, yeah. I take a discard card yes. to my discard pile in order to do that. So we're gonna inspire this Polish pilot to have another go, <gasps> and he's gonna move and attack. So he's going to move one no. and attack because no. it's a rear attack. No. So I get three dice. No. Gracious and me. And I need a five plus one for the range. I need a six. Is the way your guys are firing. There's a seven. Right. So Y2. Do you have a Y2 card in hand? I have a Y2 card in hand. Gone. Oh dear. Sorry, Leopold. You'll go. I think that was worth it. Getting these rear attacks is yeah. quite important. It is what it's about, isn't it? It's about manoeuvring. Yeah. It's about manoeuvring your planes to get, which is true of dogfighting, I yeah. suppose. You need the plane in your sights. Right. Okay. So I'm limited. Uh, did I do the right stuff? Yes. So where was I? I was here. I moved. I then moved again. I then moved again and attacked. Right. We're good. It's just remembering that you have to move. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just puzzling this. Yeah, do a bit that back. Turn that way. Okay. R2. He's going just to here. move and maneuver. Okay. So move one. Yep. Maneuver one. Yep. Nothing else? Um, no, because no? I think. That's a rear shot. I'm a rear shot on if Hurricane he, yeah. one. So. Uh, so I've done a move manoeuvre, and I'm then going to do an yeah. attack. Our, our red two pilots have suddenly got the beans this morning. Yeah. Now, um, this unfortunately is giving you cover. It is. 
uh, and the cover, this would be six or it would be, yes, this would be six with yeah, three dice. Just, let me just zoom in on this bit so we can see what's going on. You've moved here, so this attacking this. Yeah. Is currently uh, the defense is five, the range is one, so it's six, and there is one plane in between, so you need a seven. But because it's attacking the rear, you're going to get three, three dice to seven. Yeah, so or, three dice needing a seven. Or I or I could move into the hex. And then it would be two dice needing an eight. Two needing... Sorry, needing a, a six. A six. Um, so two dice needing a six, or three dice needing a seven. I think I'm going three dice needing a seven. Yeah. From there. If in doubt, roll more dice. Right, come on in. Yes! <laughs> would be three hits in a different that way. That would be. So who's that? R1. That's R1. Well done, Victor. R1 Victor is not in my discard pile. Dun, 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 dun. R1 is here. Because you had none in your supply either. No. Right, that's me done. End of the round? End of the round. Next round. Right. Okay. Still got. I've still got two I think, I think discords. Uh, yeah. You've got rid of all your discords, didn't you? You only had two. I did, but then I took. Oh, an you took one. You did, don't you? Because my yeah. red squadron is currently out of comms. Yeah. Yeah. My Y squadron is also out of comms yeah, right my, now. My Y is out by a mile. Okay. Bam, bam. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, this is not going quite so well. Eight. One. Right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play Squadron Comms to yes. Command Two. Yeah, nice. So I draw one card. Yeah. Yeah. I have to remember about that Squadron Comms. I'm going to draw a second card. Yeah. Okay, right. And that's why it's important not to put the cards in play into your yeah. discard pile because you can't that, that would have gone back yeah. in otherwise. Yeah. Right, okay, I'm... Mm. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, we're gonna play Y1 currently here, so I'm going to move and manoeuvre, yep. move two, manoeuvre two, I'm just going to go one, two and manoeuvre, he's so far out of comms it's scary. Yeah, yeah. No, hang on a minute, no, we're not going to do that, we're going to go one, manoeuvre, no it's fine, we are going to go there, right, that's why one done. Um, uh, why didn't I do that? Okay, we're going to play R1, which is here. It's mm. going to oh, it's going to attack. Mm. It can attack first and then move. I was, we're hoping, going to attack. You, I was hoping you wouldn't. Yes, so I'm pretty sure of R1s. Fives. It's fives. And There's a hit. Five. So R1. Have you got one not, in hand? No. You got one in your discard pile? No. You got one in your deck? I don't think so. Um, there's three of each in the game. Oh, there is. So the fourth hit. The very last. Will, will neutralise it. Okay, so there's. I think there's a rule about what I can see you've discarded. Yeah, no, 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 all the way around. You're allowed to look through your own. I can see what not... I, so I can see what I've lost, but yeah. not what you've lost. Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, so, okay. But you would be card counting at this point and know that that's probably the third that hit I've done on it, done which on, means you which have, means no, I more have no more way. So it's of effectively getting, a sitting duck. Way. Yeah. Uh, but then I have to move. So okay. I will yep. just move one. Okay. And then I'm going to activate it again. Unfortunately, it means I can't shoot you now. Yeah. And we're going to move two, maneuver two. So move, maneuver, move, maneuver. And then I've got this, and I'm not sure that I actually want to do anything with this. I can't, you can't I, inspire. I can't inspire, I can't coordinate, 
I could guide, but I don't want to move either of them. And I could bolster, but actually I don't want to add any of these cards to my deck because I'm happy with if my deck. If you were to move... Yeah, yeah, but I'm thinking that one's going to come round. Oh, because it has to move, doesn't it, first? So it's going to lose that, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm considering... Bolstering? Well, I could go dark. And remove that, but then you will lose the ability to summon those. Recruit. <laughs> summon. I think that's what I'm going to do. You don't think I'm going to kill your G1 and G2s, do you? No, because they're <laughs> awesome. I'm going to go dark with this card. There you go. I think that's the... That has removed it from my... Admiral. Is it an Admiral? The, it's not the fleet. No, what's the... Uh, what's the okay. Head, what's the head honcho of the RAF? I don't know. It's not, is it an Air Admiral? Marshal? Air Marshal. Who knows? Okay. Who knows? Um... I You'll think, go. I think he's been cocky in saying that I, I, these guys are never going to be I, 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 just, I wanted to try and use the go dark rule. Yeah, good. Okay, so you've gone dark. I've gone dark with green. Yeah, shh. Yeah, I am very limited <laughs> and I am torn as to what I can actually do. Um, so, the yeah. Do I command, which gives me more options? Mm -hmm. Or do I coordinate that makes my later game slightly better is really where it's at. And I think I'm in such a mess at the moment that I need to command to give me more options. So I'm going to command for two. Draw two cards. Uh, oh, that's quite tasty. Um, so we will now use um, Frederick. On Y1, which is down here, to do manu move manoeuvre. So, so move, one, move one manoeuvre. So manoeuvre. And then do. Uh, which which one, move another one? one? Yeah, I'll see which ones are you. These, these, this is you. Right, manoeuvre uh, one and a manoeuvre. Yeah. And then uh, another and move I can one. do another move one. Yeah. Okay. I'm then going to use section comms and. I'm just out of space. You are outside of comms. So I take a discord to my... You're going to inspire. I was going to inspire, yes. Yep. Inspire. Yep, so you take a discord, take a discord. to there. Uh, so and you get to do that again. And I can get to do that again, you which can attack. is an attack on the rear. Target number is six, and you're rolling three dice. Three dice for six. This has got to be... Come on, this has got to be good. It is. There's a hit. Who's your hit? Y2. Y2. Yes. Not in hand, not in discard pile. <laughs> not in my deck. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, you have neutralized Y2. Frederick does a lap of honor. So Y2 has been neutralized. You just pop there, which means that card Hoosh. is removed. Right, first casualty or first neutralized counter. Good shot. That was that was, uh, that was worth, that was it, worth wasn't commanding, it? wasn't it? Okay. Now before I get too excited, I have to move because I've just done an inspire, which would be so it has to be move one. So I have to move one. Um, it could do move two or move three. Move another one, couldn't it? Um, I'm now in... you've re-established comms between yeah, those I mean, two. I mean right? comms. Uh, what's the point of getting right up behind? Is there a good reason? There must be some reason. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to move there. Okay. Can't think why it's good. Still it's got good. two cards left. It's, yeah, because he's got to move this way, which keeps him in comms. Okay. Uh, so, um, R2. Uh, this is mi uh, Mr. Victor. Mr. Here. Victor Doring, who did quite well before. He's going to do a fly past, um, and uh, he's going to do a move maneuver. So, he's going to do one... Two maneuver. Hang on, he's going to have to move. Might not do the maneuver. Um, see, that's, that's such an interesting choice mm. because if I if I go if I maneuver this way and you fly off, you're out of range, and I've got to turn once more. I think I'm better to stay. I'm going to stay like that. You're just moving two straight. Just going to move two. Yeah. Just, just stay there. Final card. Yeah, okay. that's good. Next round. Big round for you, that. Yeah, I did well, that was good. Well, my pilots did it. I don't think it was much to do with me. I just commanded them. Right. Right. My pilots. So my yellow squadron is now considered out, out of comms. Out of comms. 
Okay. Um, so yeah, just just to clarify for those people watching at home, I can now not play that ability on this card because if you're out of comms, you cannot do that. You can do these at a penalty, but you cannot do that. You just have to fly in to get back round again. And the question: Am I going to go first? Uh, I think I need to because I'm under attack from the hurricane. Okay. And just to clarify, you've got to neutralise three of mine. Yes, and you've got to do two of mine. And I only need to neutralise two of yours. Yeah. Um, wow. Okay. And you're and we've I think we've established that this is the most vulnerable uh, of mine. Our one has been hit a few times. Yeah. One of the wings is <laughs> flapping, flapping around. around. In fact, I've got to, I was going to fly him off the board <laughs> to uh, to do so. I, do I? Oh, it's just a. The decision to use the initiative yeah. stops you using the card. I want to use the card. So... Uh, yep. Sorry, eight. I should have done one. that. One. Yeah. Yep, one. You have the initiative, sir. <sighs> yeah, I should have. Capitalise on your there. previous turns. Um, yeah. It's a shame that I can't, unfortunately. Uh, but I will give it a go. So I'm going to, um, yeah, okay. R2. Victor, R2. So he's going to do a um, move maneuver. Uh, he's going to move and maneuver. And he's going to Fly in circles, or is he going to go heading off? Going to go for this one? Yeah. Um, I just want to examine these guys. He's he's, he's... everywhere except forwards. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, okay. I think I will go move. No remover. So yeah. it's my second move. You've got one move left. I've got one move left, and I go here. Yeah. Broken comms, but there we go. Okay. Uh, and I don't want to maneuver. So, so that card done. That's that one. Uh, next, we've got. Uh, Y2 is going to do move maneuver. So move maneuver, move, move. One more maneuver. One more maneuver if you want it. Nice. Okay. Nice. And then Y2, no, unfortunately, Y1 um, brings up and does, he's going to do move maneuver. So he's going to go move. Um, maneuver. Uh oh. Yeah. Move. Yeah. Move. I feel sorry for Y one. Okay, that's me. Okay. Well, we have the section comms card for 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 Y, so we're going to go dark with that. Okay. I think we just have to write this one off. <laughs> sorry, mate. Um, we then have G2. Mm. I'm going to move. And again, move two. I'm not going to manoeuvre. Okay. Just going to move two. We've then got R2, who was about to shoot. Yes. But thankfully, I moved out. Disappeared. <gasps> So we are moving and maneuvering. So move one, yep. maneuver, move one, maneuver. Right, yeah, nice. Okay, right. Well, getting quite tense here now. It's all getting a bit uh, tight around the French coast. And who's in comms? Your yellow squadron is in comms, my green squadron is in comms. Yeah. Both of the red squadrons are out. out of comms. Two, three, four. Hmm. Oh, I want to keep all four, please. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, this really hurts. Oh, this really hurts. 
I need to win initiative. Nine! Oh. Yes. Oh, oh, yes. Okay. This could be uh, Frederick. Y1. He's going to attack this Y1. Yeah. Um, it's from behind. Yep. So it's three so dice. Three dice. Need a six. six. Nothing in the way. Nothing in the way. Just the range. Come on. Come on, Frederick. You've done it before. Do it again, boy. And he does. Y1. It's in hand. I was about to in run hand. away. Okay. Then Y2, Leopold. Same. Does, oh, sorry, I have to move. You sorry, have to move. Rewind. Have to move. Um, so I'll move one. Yep. Um, and I'll move two. Yep. Okay. And then I'll just stop. Yep. Okay. Um, then Y2. Then Y2 does an attack. Yep. So same, same thing again. again. Three dice, Three needing dice. sixes. Needing sixes. It's a hit. It's a hit. Right. Well, I don't have a Y1 in hand. <laughs> I do have a Y1 in my discard. Okay. Yep. Our section can't inspire. Um, can't bolster. I can't bolster. Could guide. I could guide and take, yeah, a, take discard. a discard. Or you could go dark. Or I could go dark, which means I don't do anything with that card. That card goes back here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go dark with the section comms. Yeah. Okay, right. Didn't quite survive. Can you run away? Well. Oh, hang on. I need to move. Sorry, you do. I've done it again. You've done it again. So, um, attack. I move one. Yep. I move two. <laughs> I move three. Okay. Okay. Yep. Right. Yep. So, red two. Red two. Is here. Yes. Where's all my target? It's just gone. Yep. <laughs> Flying away. I've gone to back up red one. Standing by. Not great, this. Yeah. It's going, it's going okay. It's going okay. It's Let's good. move, maneuver, move. Oops. Oops. And then defiant one. I can have a shot. Yes. Five, six, seven, eight. I need one dice. I got one dice because it's from, the, from front. the front. So one dice needing an eight. Eight. My other option is that I could just move it to there and then hope I draw it again. Mm -hmm. Which gives you an immediate before attack. Before you do. Before I move. I think we're going to do that. We're going to okay. take a risk. We're going to move there. Yeah. And I mean, not, that's, that's attacking. And not manoeuvre. Yeah. I mean, that's attacking two planes, essentially. Yeah. Let's just... Uh, I'd have to move let's two show planes. This. Yeah, so the firing arc of these um, these defiance is everywhere but the front. So by me moving there, I've got a good shot on that one and a good shot on that one. Assuming I, <laughs> and I draw that got card. A, and this one's got a good shot on R2 as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's all getting but a bit... But I only have one of these cards in my deck because the other two are here. Uh-huh. Right. Okay. Next, next round. Yep. Oh, no, hang on a minute. I could shoot. Yeah. What am I thinking? Move and shoot. I'm moving shoot. Move and shoot. Okay. For some yeah. reason, I yeah. was thinking yeah, I, I can't can... move and shoot. Yeah, no, 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 no. I no, can move, move and shoot. shoot. Right. Okay. Move and shoot. That's what I'm doing. So, um, which one do we want to go for? It's two dice because it's a rear attack. Let me have a look see how many I've lost. It's a six. I know which one you don't want to go for. Can you remember? Um, I'm I'm not thinking of causing a casual turn. I'm just thinking of removing a card from the deck. Okay. I'm going to go for Y two. Okay. So yeah, two dice needing a six because it's five plus one. It's from the Hit. rear. Yeah, so that's why I get two dice. Oh, that's why yours is only yeah, two. Yeah, the okay. green ones are a one dice uh, from the front, okay. two I'm dice sure from the rear. So I've got a hit. Okay, so it is a Y2. It's Nothing y in two. my hand. Nothing in hand. One in the discard pile. Gone. Right, okay. <sighs> yeah. For some reason, I didn't think I could move and shoot with it. All right. So there's my one. One, two, three, four. 
<laughs> I'm so used to with the green ones setting them up for the next turn. Yes. Yes. Two, three, right. four. Uh, y2 is vulnerable. Y2 is very vulnerable. Y1. Oof. I've got the initiative at the moment. Um, <laughs> this could be, this could be, yeah, not not great. This could be not Four. great. Yeah, it is you. You have it. You have it. Right. Fortunately, R two. Yeah. He's here. Yeah. Right, staring me in the face. I'm going to attack. Attack first. I'll attack first. It's not from the rear though, is it? No. So I'm going to move first. I'm going to move one, and then attack. Ah no. From no, there it's five six, but from there it's five. Isn't it? If yeah, you yeah. move in, it's five. It's five. Yeah. And it's, so it's, it's from the front anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So I move one yeah. and I attack. Yeah. Two dice. So it's two dice needing a five. Mm -hmm. Got it. Oh, no. Please no. R2. Not in hand. But there is my discard. discard. Right. Then R2 again, and this time we're going to attack and then move. This could be. This could be. Dire. That's a hit. Not in hand. Not in my discard. Probably not in deck. Is there? It is. Okay. One in my deck. But that's that's that plan. You know that's gone. him gone. I need to and now I have to move, and I'm just going to move one, which stops me from shooting at it. Yes, otherwise I could have potentially shot it. I'll if make you it stay two. In. All right, move it further away. Move it ready for R1 to give you a pop. And then R1 is up here. And he's going to attack. Uh, he's going to move and attack. Yeah. So I go one, two. From the front, yeah. Two dice five. needing a five. It's a five. It's a five. It's a five. It's so a Y1. Y1. Ah. Uh, in hand? In hand. Out uh, sorry, yeah, wrong way. Yep. Oh, in hand. That was a big round. Yes, that was pretty damaging actually, because I'm now down to only two cards. Yeah, winning the initiative and scoring a hit on yeah. somebody who's got a card in hand. That's that's absolutely awesome, isn't it? Yeah. Right, okay. Um well I'm going to go Y1. I'm just gonna zoom in on this because it's all of all of the action is happening here right now. Ooh. So who's activating? Okay, y1. It's y1. So it's Y1 here. This. So I'm going to attack, attack first. Attack and then move. Uh, yeah. My attack is uh, two. Two dice, dice needing five. Five. Oh, and it's fours. Pair of fours. Oh dear, but I have to move. You have to move at least one. Unfortunately, I have to move. So it will move one. Uh, I don't want to move any further off the board. So, um, and unfortunately, didn't quite work out. Um, so, but you are in section comms. Let's just pop that over there. Um, which means I can um, guide. I can't inspire. Pass, I can inspire. Guide. Um, inspire. Awesome guide this. is move. Move one, maneuver one. Move one, maneuver one. Move one, maneuver one. Uh, I need to bring him back in anyway. It might be better, you know. I mean, inspire means that this guy just has to do move. it again. But he could move through. But actually, he could move more. And move yeah, he, he, actually, that's better, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. So I'll, I'll inspire. Um, the guide is there when you only have the, that card and you don't have one to inspire. I can't see you would ever. No, because you're inspired. You inspire. It's always going to give you more movement exactly. and or manoeuvre. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, that's a move one yeah. and, and a manoeuvre. Manoeuvre. That's a move two and a manoeuvre. Yep. Yeah. That's a move three. Three them back into comms, and that can't a, do another. Maneuver. I can't do another move. So it's okay. Can't, yeah. Only maneuver yeah, okay. two. Yep. Yep. Right. Next round. Okay. I've still not scored a casualty, but three. I suspect it's. Well, imminent. my deck is thin. Look how thin my this deck is. is quite and thin. I have still got discords. So this is going to be. I don't know why that went over there. Did I push that over there by mistake? Anyway. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I don't know if I cheated earlier on. Oh dear, I hope dear. not. 
I have a funny feeling I might have played a section comms card for initiative and forgotten to take a um, a discord. For, for an inspire, you mean? Yeah. No, when I used it to bid for initiative. Oh, for initiative. Oh, oh I, I, yeah, can't, yeah, yeah. I can't remember. No. If I did, I apologise. Yeah, I can't remember. Okay. Because that's exactly what I'm going to do now. Right. So I'm using an eight yeah. for initiative. Yeah. But the red squadron is out of comms. Out of comms, right. So I can still do it. Yeah. But I take that. Yeah. Right. I have initiative. And I, and I could have beaten it with anything. Yeah. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play section comms to draw two cards. Yes, nice. So, one, two. Yeah. Options. Right. Options. Lots of options. So, defiant one. Attack. <laughs> and then move. So, it's two dice because it's from the rear. Yeah. And I need sixes. There's a hit. Oh, no. Why two? <laughs> no. All gone? No. All gone. All gone. Y2 has been neutralised. Ne Y2's neutralised. And then I have to move at least one. Yeah. And I will stop there. Don't have an Inspire. No, because you haven't, because you've lost your section comms. That's all right. Then... Then we'll play G2, and I will move two and attack. No, that, no that's, move that's one and attack. <laughs> I was going to say, that's me. <laughs> that's <you. laughs> I will move, move one, one and attack. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's five, a front attack, so it's only one dice. Six. One seven, dice needing a seven. seven. Yeah, these dice! They are. These dice. I. R2. R2. D2. No. 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 Is it in there? No. Game over. Game over. There well you go. done. Two neutralized. <sighs> wow. That was that was that was tense. I think we got it the hang just, of just all built up, and then all of a sudden it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wasn't it similar to the other Undaunted games in that you're bolstering cards, which basically give you hit points. Yeah. And then gradually you will be losing those yeah. cards from your deck. So it, it, it builds on the Undaunted series. It uses exactly the same mechanism mm. for cards. Mm. But the big differences are movement is not optional. You have to move. And movement and facing is important. And and your arcs of fire. Very thematic for planes, though, isn't it? Yeah, very, having very to thematic. Move, having to spend time turning. Yeah. I mean, because the plane just can't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's... Uh, that's a win for the RAF. So we'll, we'll, we write that down. If we were playing a campaign, we would write that down in here. How many hits you've got and everything else. Now we're going to just cover briefly the other things that are included uh, in the game. So I mentioned that you play through the scenarios. You can choose any scenario you want to do, um, but it recommends you play them in order because what right. it does is it introduces new rules as, as you go along. So some of the things that are introduced in the game are anti-aircraft, so if you're playing on the British, because in here it was France, but uh, if, if it's over Britain itself, the uh, the RAF has, or the British player has anti-aircraft units. So anti-aircraft uh, cards are, let me just have a look at this, because you've got other, other things as well, like Spitfires. Um, Spitfire, we'll cover the aces in a minute. Where's the anti-aircraft? There. Right, so there's one card, uh, and it's anti-air three. So it's basically, it's an attack, mm -hmm. but um, the range is calculated from my nearest anti-aircraft unit on the board. Uh, anti-aircraft. So the anti-aircraft will be... A token? Uh, a token that is placed on the board. Okay. In fact, we can get those tokens now. They are here. So these are the different tokens that are included in the game. So this would be anti-aircraft. So I might have some anti-aircraft there, or I might have them here. So you can attack anybody anywhere on the board, and you count the range from the nearest one. Right. Um, the attack is calculated exactly the same, but cover bonuses don't apply. No clouds. Um, clouds no, no, no clouds. No other planes. Nothing like right. that. It's literally just just the range bonus. Mm. When anti aircraft hit, they don't actually cause a hit as normal. Right. What they do is they suppress the unit. Yeah. And flip it over. That works in exactly the same way as suppressed units in the other Undaunted games. In that the next time you play a card of that, 
the card is ignored and you flip it back. So okay. anti-aircraft units don't actually cause hits. Uh, they cause units to become suppressed. Now, the RAF can have the other side. Right. But the Germans don't have anti-aircraft units. That represents the unit is grounded. So some of the um, some of the scenarios, some of the RAF planes Could will start off... In the airfield. Maybe. Yeah, in the airfield, start right. off grounded and you bomb them. Yeah. So they, they can be bombed while they're on the ground like that. Since we're talking about anti-aircraft, you might notice, if you look carefully, uh, these have got a six on them and this is in a shield. That means these can be bombed. Right. So the RAF can't bomb. The RAF have anti-aircraft, which is their unique thing. But the Germans, some of the German units, uh, some of the German planes have, uh, if we just find them, there you go, bomb. So a bomb is a special type of attack that can yep. only be carried out against structures on the board, which are normally objectives. And you have to be in the hex. Right, yep. So Makes you sense. have to be directly yeah, over, over that over, hex over the, over the in, in order, to, in order yeah. to bomb it. Yeah. So that's something the Germans can do. So it's more asymmetric than the other yeah. games that's nice. um, because you've got that as well. Yeah. Uh, you've also got ships. So ships are these, uh, and ships are used in some of the scenarios where the ships have to escape. Yes. Um, and the RAF are trying to protect them or whatever. And the ships will be moving in the direction printed on them. Um, and the Germans are trying to bomb them. So you've got those as well. Um, you've also got clouds, as we mentioned. So some of the areas will have clouds. Clouds give a plus two cover modifier mm. for anything in them or going through them. So if you're drawing a line of sight through the clouds, that gives you a cover modifier. Uh, we also have the barrage balloons. Now, barrage balloons work in the same way as clouds in terms of cover. But if any plane was to enter mm. a hex with barrage balloons, they're immediately neutralized. So yeah, barrage balloon, balloons are quite nasty. Uh, we mentioned aces a couple of times in the playthrough. So let me just show you uh, what an ace looks like. There you go. So this is a Spitfire ace uh, from Squadron B, from the Blue Squadron. You can see it's an ace because it's got the star next to it. Uh, and what the star means is that it can do its first turn before it moves one. Right. So normally when you're doing a maneuver, you have to move one and then you turn. But with the aces, they can turn before they maneuver. So they've basically got a lot more, mm. uh, a lot more maneuverability. Yeah. On that, I think that's everything. I mean, I thought scenario one was actually going to be fairly simple, and rules-wise, it was. But strategic, there tactical, was, there was a lot going on. Yeah. Going on. Yeah. Um, but yeah, lots of other scenarios in the game uh, included with all sorts of different objectives that introduce introduce some extra rules. And I think that's it. We we are we are finished. Can we do so scenario two now? We can do scenario two. So yeah, thank you very much uh, for joining me. Uh, if you are, as I mentioned at the start, thank you to Osprey Games for sponsoring this video. Uh, if you are a patron supporter of mine, uh, you will get access to some bonus playthroughs. We're probably going to play scenario two now, uh, and I'll make that available to patron supporters later on. But for those people watching to learn out how to play undaunted battle of britain i hope you found it useful give the video a thumbs up uh leave me a comment if you've enjoyed it let me know if this is the first undaunted game that you get i'm really curious to find out how many people have heard of the undaunted system uh, but haven't got into it yet who decide to get into it with this version or if you are a diehard fan of the undaunted series um whether you got this one as well or whether you gave this one a miss i'm just just curious because the, the system has been out there now for a few years. It's been very successful. I'm pleased to see that they're exploring different things with it. And yeah. I was, when I first heard they were going to do one around the Battle of Britain, I was skeptical about how they were going to make it simple but fit in with the existing mechanisms. And they've done exactly that. Yeah. That's exactly what they've done. Um, it kind of brings another another dimension to it with the with the with the tactical movement and everything else. Right, we're all done. Thank you again for watching. We'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.